Hi, my name is Lado Kolyevavic and I'm from Mercedes-Benz AG and responsible for cloud mobility. What I would like to share with you today is the core challenges that we see for non-corporate to build state-of-the-art technology and how we are going to solve that in our context and also to create a, a product uh, out of that approach. Um, core challenges that we see are clustered from our learnings uh, of the last couple of uh, years are in four areas. Talent, culture, steering and customer. Talent is obvious, everybody is heading uh, for the great people that are doing a great job, that are excellent skilled in software engineering and pushing really things hard and getting uh, goals achieved. The cultural aspect it's not just um, taking care for all the soft aspects of culture, and this is of course super important, it's also part of the tough game that you have, for ex at example, people in place that are really striving for goals and that they love to be measured. Next topic about steering, a little bit more global context, um, and to explain that quickly, as an established industry company, like Daimler, building cars now for over 130 years, we are excellently uh, positioned in getting the right business cases out of our product and getting them um, good uh, tuned in that way. Nevertheless, from a venture perspective that you see and learn in the Silicon Valley, there are different approaches how to get things done and how to steer them also. And this is something you have to add a secret sauce also into your game. And finally, you have to put real customer centricity in place when you go to build a product. And I mean, this is not really a secret and a new thing here, but especially we recognize that too often and in many cases as something that is going more in parallel, that there are teams that are building a great product, but de delivering out of that an engineering puzzle and not taking too much um, the customer pain point in place. So you have to bring that also very close together. Um, how we're going to tackle that in a cloud mobility context? We have, of course, a meaningful uh, vision and I will share that in a couple of seconds. But let me also explain the other four topics that are written here on this slide. Best of two worlds, uh, what we understand um, with this term is bringing the clear and great knowledge out of your own corporate and your DNA into the game by bringing also the great learnings that we have out of the huge tech areas like the Silicon Valley in place. And that means really bring it close together. So don't, just don't head for one of these things. Yeah? That's maybe leading to the next type of having labs uh, and hubs in place and that they're maybe not delivering the right value out of the game. So you have to mix up and bring both together and mix up also the right mixture of strengths into each other. Next topic, high performance culture. I mentioned that already before. And I mean, that doesn't mean that we don't have at Mercedes in high performance culture. And I would even say there isn't clear already in place. But here's um, specifically the topic meant that you need to foster and to, act, to keep in mind that people are love to be measured in their daily routines and in their daily delivery. And this is something really specific, uh, what we learned. Um, how this is going also to motivate people to having concrete goals and heading for them on, the, on a daily base. Also what I mentioned already before, having product technology roadmaps in place that are really customer centric yeah, is super crucial and important. If you just keep the engineering piece, this may be leading to the engineering puzzle um, I mentioned before, and you have to bring always the feedback from your users and your customers into place to evolve your product roadmap further. And KPIs, that stands for itself, yeah, being measurable, being clear on what you're going to deliver and what to achieve is um, something we think also part of the secret sauce. How we're translating that now, very concrete, is our vision at Cloud Mobility is enabling seamless mobility and transportation for our customers. Yeah? We think this is very meaningful and we learned that also during the last couple of months when we started to approach people to join also our approach. It seems something that people recognize um, it's worth uh, to be part of that game and at least giving us enough confidence through the data we are collecting um, that we have to go further here in that case. And how we went further is also how we developed 
our mission out of that. And our mission is um, let's deliver the best experience around customer and card data for software engineers. Because if you see who is consuming a cloud, then we usually talk about people that build software. And these are software engineers, so you should better do a great job towards them and offer them the right services and products so that they enjoy their work and have an easier work to deliver and on their goals and their commitments uh, they made in their teams. How we do that in a specific way in our context is also when we deliver our and develop our cloud mobility product, we are specifically searching for key challenges within Mercedes. I mean, not just delivering a software piece in that case, it's really something that's going to solve already by today a problem on Mercedes side. And this is helping us then to build a special purpose cloud that fulfills already by now first customer needs. And in that case, and in the final step, we are creating and trying to create then insights out of the specific processes that we set up and out of the specific products that we brought in place uh, to get mobility and transportation cloud uh, done. Um, and this is something um, that helped us within the last couple of months um, to drive this journey further. What is cloud mobility? And to bring it into uh, quick words, as I already said, it's a special purpose public cloud that we are developing. It's heavily relying on open source uh, in that way. Um, we are giving back sovereignty about the data to our users and customers. Um, this we try to achieve through specific data inventories that are incorporated in our products. And we hope and think that this is enabling in the mobility and transportation space new services for our customers and also for us on Mercedes side um, in that case. Why we think a special purpose cloud is needed? Um, if you see, and you all know that, what great job all big hyperscalers already did within the last couple of years and doing now, um, then you can imagine um, that there are also specific um, topics you need to consider if this thing is going to evolve further. And looking in our industry, mobility and transport, there are still unsolved challenges. And these unsolved challenges, for example, are autonomous driving. Um, if you want to fix autonomous driving, you have to fulfill a very specific demand and need to solve this very, very complex and heavy problem uh, in that case. And we think that this is currently not offered in the market. Um, and this specific challenge will also help us derive a specific product uh, within the next uh, couple of years further uh, down the road. Um, and if you compare and see already what is going to happen in, uh, in special uh, purpose cloud segments, there are already announcements uh, by Microsoft a um, couple of months ago that they're going now to build a special purpose uh, cloud for healthcare. It's a huge industry, it's a very, very huge market. Um, and we see also that this will maybe evol evolve in other industries like mobility and transportation. So let's be better prepared uh, and start acting proactively in that area. And this is another reason why it makes sense to start approaching this business this, and why this is also very supportive for a sustainable future, especially in our case for Mercedes-Benz. I explained a little bit uh, what core key challenges we see in a non-corporate tech world um, and how you can um, approach it to improve and to solve serious business challenges in the mobility and transport world. And also how you can even more evolve a business uh, out of that in that space. Um, if you're interested in more, please join the session uh, in the upcoming days in the round uh, table talk. Happy to see you there. Happy to receive your questions. Stay tuned and healthy.